even and odd numbers. Hello, friends. Today, we are going to learn more about even and odd numbers. We are going to ask our friend Frankie to help us out and do some math exercises together. Ready? Let's get started. Numbers are everywhere. Whether it is in your math class, on the speed limit sign on the side of the road, or on price tags at your favorite store. All numbers can be separated or classified into two groups, odd numbers or even numbers. Even numbers are two, four, six, and eight. Zero is also considered to be an even number, but we will learn more about that another time. Odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and nine. The difference between these two types of numbers is that odd numbers cannot be divided into two equal parts or groups, but even numbers can. Let's look at an example. Frankie has taken us to her family's farm today. She has six apples that she has picked from her apple tree. Six is an even number because you can make two groups with the same amount of apples in each group. How many apples are in each group? That's right, it's three. Because there are no apples left over, we know that six is an even number. Here is an important tip. All even numbers end in zero, two, four, six, or eight. Frankie was so nice to share her apples with us. Now she is sharing some of her eggs. Frankie has five eggs total. Odd numbers cannot be evenly divided or split up. Five is an odd number because you cannot make two groups with the same amount of eggs. Instead, you have two groups of two eggs each with one egg left over. The poor lone egg does not have a buddy. That is how we know for sure that five is an odd number. Here is another important tip. All odd numbers end in one, three, five, seven, or nine. Let's see if you can identify even and odd numbers all on your own. There are four tractors out in the field. Is four an even or an odd number? If you said even, you are correct. That is because you can put two tractors into two groups without any leftovers. What about these nine horses? Frankie wants to make sure that they have enough space in the barn. She needs to figure out if she can separate them into two stalls or if there will be a horse left over. What do you think? Is nine an even or an odd number? Yep, it's odd. Frankie can divide her horses into two groups of four with one left over. Looks like she will have to find some more space in the barn are you ready for a bonus question? Frankie needs our help one last time. She has 17 cows and needs to know if 17 is an even or an odd number so she can know where to let them graze. What do you think? Do you remember the important tips we shared with you earlier? Think about which kinds of numbers always end in zero, two, four, six, and eight and which numbers always end in one, three, five, seven, or nine. Did that hint help? Can you divide the number 17 into two equal groups? No, there are two groups of eight cows each with one cow left over to wander the pasture alone, which means that 17 is an odd number. Nice work, math magicians. Remember, even though math can seem hard at first, the more you practice, the easier it will be. Thanks for learning with us today. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.